After submitting their report, the IAEA team held a news conference. They touched on the Japanese government plan to decontaminate areas where air annual radiation exposure reaches one millisievert. The one millisievert criteria is a real challenging criteria, but it could be achieved. The only thing is that you need time to do that. Len Tiho also said that most of the soil removed by decontamination work contains low levels of radiation and the possibility of human exposure is low. He suggested there is no need to be overly concerned about radiation exposure. Earlier this week, the Ministry of Environment issued a set of policy plans on decontamination. What are the major points of the plans? The biggest point of the report is that the central government has expanded areas where it takes responsibility for decontamination. Now the government will be responsible for decontaminating all areas with annual radiation levels of 1 millisievert or more instead of 5 millisieverts initially considered. At first, the area to be decontaminated extended 2,419 square kilometers. But the government has changed the threshold after facing strong opposition from municipalities in Fukushima, which insist that the areas which with levels of less than 5 millisieverts also should be decontaminated. The new standard would expand the decontamination area furthermore. The Environment Ministry initially estimated that 1.14 trillion yen would be required to decontaminate areas with annual radiation levels of 5 millisieverts or more. But the recent change in the threshold would raise the cost furthermore. The government will pay the cost first and ask the Tokyo Electric Power Company to pay later. But if the cost rises substantially, it's not certain to what extent TEPCO can bear the cost. The Environment Ministry says it will do whatever it can do with the current budget, but it remains to be seen whether the ministry can meet the needs of citizens with financial constraints.